So the brothers established a printing house here by the 1740s. First dated item we have is 1745. But Ephrata's printing house was somewhat unique in colonial America in that it really was one-stop shopping. The brothers operated their own paper mill, so the paper supply was found here. They made their own ink. After they finished printing the items, they had a tannery for making the leather, which they used in their own book bindery to cover the books. Between 1745 and 1792, they printed about 95 to 100 different items. About half of those were done for the community. Prayer books, music books, some of the founder's sermons were printed, but the other half were done for customers from outside of Ephra. All sorts of things. Blank deed forms, books for their own churches, and the most important book being The Martyr's Mirror. It was the largest book published in the colonies before the Revolutionary War. It took 15 men three years to produce 1,500 copies of that large volume. There's 1,500 pages which were first translated from Holland Dutch into High German. The type was set, the pages were printed, and then all bound here. The cost was 20 shillings, probably equivalent to about two or three weeks worth of work for a farmer in this neighborhood at that time. It became the largest book published in the colonies before the Revolutionary War. The printing output of this community is the items that went out of Ephraim, more so than any other item created within the community. The music stayed pretty much in-house, the art was pretty much here, but you could get your name put inside in that beautiful frock tour lettering if you bought one of those martyr's mirrors and probably paid a few extra coins for it.